I need to understand why some Jamaicans don't see photography as something important. I've been doing photography from about 2008. I believe my first wedding was actually 2008. It was for a friend of mine, right? I was a little bit scared to do a wedding because that was my first time and I didn't really have any experience for doing weddings. Photography was actually a part-time thing for me. Before photography, I was actually doing graphic design. I get tired of doing graphic design, so I started doing photography. Over the years of doing photography, there are a few things that I dislike about working with Jamaican people, or some Jamaican people, that I need to address in this video. Jamaican people don't understand the importance of time. In the past, I normally do weddings for Jamaicans per hour, but I stopped. Why I stopped is because most Jamaicans are always late. As a matter of fact, yeah, most Jamaicans are always late. The bride is always late for the wedding, right? For whatever reasons. And because of that, I actually have to drop the per hour thing, right? So I just do the wedding from start to finish and just call it a day. By right, I should be actually charging per hour for every event that I do, right? But I am always thinking about people who are always late. So what I do is to take out the per hour thing just to ensure that I cover the entire event without any problems. But I'm sorry, I'm going to stop that now. For this year and continuing, I'm going to do per hour for every single event. I personally hate it when I come to an event or when I go to an event, right? And I have to sit down and wait on people. I love to go to an event and start working right away. Yes, I understand that there are times when, you know, something might happen and the event start late totally understand that but guess what you should prepare for that if you're gonna book me per hour please understand that you're gonna book me later than the time that you want to start so you don't have no problem recently somebody contacted me for an event right later on this year they asked me how much I charge I tell them a certain amount per hour the person advised me that they want me for only one hour that's not possible you can't book a photographer for only one hour for an event with Jamaican people it does not work I personally do not suggest booking a photographer for one hour for like a birthday party or something like that because guess what? People will not come to your event early. I've done a lot of events and I can tell you the event will never ever start on time. Please be advised that deposits are very important. Sorry. You cannot call a photographer or message a photographer and say I'm getting married at this time. I want to do a photo shoot at this time. I want to do an event at this time and expect the photographer to keep that date for you without getting any money. That makes no sense because other people will come to that photographer for that date that you have selected and you need to understand that. I personally don't know about any other photographer, right? But once you provide me a deposit or once you're booking me, I expect to get the full payment at least seven days before your event, right? or a day before your event or you provide me with the full payment on the day of the event I do not want the payment or the full payment after the event that makes no sense to me because this is it if you're placing an order online right when do you pay the people them you pay them right away and when they get your package long after you make the payment I'm here locally with you and you're unable to give me the full amount of money I mean I run a business you're going to say to me that how am I going to pay you the full amount of money and you have not provided a service? Hmm. How are you going to place an order online for an item and you're not receiving your own? It is quite understandable if my prices are very expensive. Money grow up on tree and people don't work a lot of money these days. See? However, you're able to pay the hotel a lot of money for the location for your wedding. You're able to pay the cake people them a lot of money for your cake but you're not willing to pay the photographer a lot of money to get beautiful photos remember the cake I eat and done you know you're not going to have a cake again you know the place where you do the wedding you only go to there only one time the photos you have that for a lifetime you should not be afraid to ask a photographer for a discount a lot of photographers may not give a discount because they think that the prices there are charging is something that you should be able to afford but I believe that if you ask for a discount, I, I, I will give you a discount. This lens here, I'll show you. This lens is for a thousand dollars. See? This camera, at the time I paid 
$600 to $700 for the camera only. The grip section is for about $100. So this camera that I'm using right now to record the video, I paid about $600 for this camera. The lens, I paid $500 for the lens. The grip down here, I paid like about um, $80 for the grip. And the extra battery, about $60 something. This is my Alien B light, see? I paid about $270 something for it, see? Actually went through the bank to get it because um, they do not accept uh, Jamaican credit cards for some reason, see? So I paid more to get it. This thing here is a beauty dish. I paid about 80 something dollars for it. Um, this I paid like $70. Um, both of them like $70. See, and these are soft boxes. This light, um, not the light, this is the, the battery for the light itself. I paid $200 something dollars for that. And again, they do not take Jamaican um, credit cards, so I have to pay more. I have to do it from the bank. I have to do a wire transfer through the bank to actually have it done. When I'm coming to your event, I have to rent a car because I do not own a car for myself. So when I charge you a certain amount of money, please, just give me the money. It's not really about the money really, you know. It's about the money, you know, but guess what? Whatever you're paying for is quality. And you have that for a lifetime to look at. It's not just me coming at your wedding or coming at your event to just take, take picture. I'm a creative photographer. I'm, I don't just come there and just snap, 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 snap. That's not how I work. So you have to pay for creativity, pay for time. I have to edit your photos. I am not even charging you for editing, which I should be charging you for editing also. But I'm not charging for that. I'm charging an entire package to come to your event and do the work and provide with your photos. Talking about quality, people should know that when you're booking a photographer, it's not about quantity. It's about the quality work that you'll be getting from that photographer. See? Why are you running a photographer so you want to whole like picture them like you have used for all the pictures? You're not going to print them. You're just going to put them down. If you have a few photos, that's when you cherish them because you have a few photos to look on and they look so beautiful. Please, if you come at your wedding and we tell us you get 200 photos, please take 200 photos and stop asking what you're photos them. I fail to understand some Jamaicans, right? You do a photo shoot session with them, they get the photos with the logo, but when they're uploading the photos, they crop out your logo. Please. I also wonder, Tyler, please explain to me why you think it's okay for you to crop out my logo. I personally don't understand people that actually get a professional photo from a professional photographer and actually add filter to it when uploading to Instagram. Alright, so you can leave your comments below. If you agree or disagree with me, thanks for watching.